And then, of course, the big news was that they Impact is rebranding. They are going back to using TNA. They starting at Hard to Kill. They will be TNA Wrestling again. Um, this is I, the video was really well done. There was like a five minute clip of how they announced it. It had a lot of the the people from NW. I mean, NWA from TNA um, from before. Um, and then you had some of the newer stars like Jordan Grace and Josh Alexander who were in it, but then it had, so it had uh, Motor City Machine Guns were in it. Um, they had uh, Eddie Edwards and Alicia, um, Alicia in there. They had um, Frankie Kazarian was the one who kind of like made the announcement. Eric Young was in it. So it was really cool to kind of see the, how they did it. And I so I enjoy it. I think it was really cool. I don't have a problem with him going back to using TNA. I saw a lot of, I've seen mostly positive reactions to the announcement, but I have seen some people who are like, why would you go back to TNA when people associate uh, like just blunders and things of that nature with TNA. Um, but apparently from like, there's a younger generation who don't, they don't tie it to like LOL TNA and some uh -huh. of the earlier, and some of the really terrible stuff that was happening um, when Eric Bischoff was there. <laughs> and Hulk Hogan well, that was going to be my question to you is like, what, what's the motivation? Like, what do you think the motivation here is? Cause that, I, yeah, I don't that, watch, yeah, I don't watch enough to see, but I just I, don't, why? Yeah, I think that's just, yeah, the why, I'm not really sure there, I guess. Like, I saw a quote from Scott Demore, who was like, people still chant TNA at shows. Like, so it still has, a lot of people are still associate TNA, like Impact Wrestling with TNA, I guess is what he was trying to say. Impact under Scott Demore is a completely different thing. They have really... I guess I, I really enjoy Impact Wrestling for the most part. There's a lot of really good stuff there. Um, they have really elevated the knockouts even more. They've done some really great, just, I think the pro the product has improved so much over the last few years. Um, so I'm not sure. So for some of the older generation, especially us who watched, you know, in the 2000s, mm -hmm. there is a lot of, sometimes when you hear TNA, you think of LOL TNA, you think of the stuff that they were doing, you think of like, because I was joking with a friend, like you think of the six sided ring. <laughs> and yes. So, and that was one of the things like um, that my friends and I were talking about. I was like, are they going to bring back the six sided ring? Apparently, there is uh, something this morning that says, no, they are not planning to do that. They will not be <laughs> bringing that back. Um, just because just we're bringing like, back the name doesn't mean we're bringing back the blunders. Yeah. And so I was joking that if Toby Keith is healthy, because Toby Keith has been uh, dealing with stomach cancer since last year, uh, he seems to be in a better he seems to be healthier now. So it's like, if he's healthy, like they should put him on hard to kill. Not like um, in a match, like it would be interesting just to have him like do it like a backstage segment or something like that. And just like kind of joke around about it being TNA or something like that. Like, I think that would be a fun little thing they could do, but like, I think they can kind of lean into that old stuff, but also make it very clear that they are not the old TNA. And so I guess, yeah, I kind of go back and forth. Yeah, because Brad says that he's not sure how he feels about them being TNA. Like, I initially when I saw it, I really liked it. And I agree with Colin. Some of the best matches were under the TNA banner, especially for me, the X Division stuff. Like, I've always been a huge X Division fan. There's been a lot of really cool stuff there. Obviously, that's where AJ Styles like cut his teeth. That's where AJ Styles became AJ Styles. So we've seen a lot of really, really good stuff there. But sometimes it's hard to you know shake off the stuff that they were doing and like and some people don't they haven't given impact um a chance because they do think it's like the old days yeah. um yeah. of the stuff that they I, were doing I know, I know someone who was like that until recent years because things change they realized that things changed and right gave it a whirl yeah again uh <laughs> Nikki said, I still accidentally call them TNA. I can understand why people wouldn't want it, though. Yeah, I, for the most uh, part. I, a lot of people, I have a, few, a handful of friends who do the same, Nikki. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go back and forth. And so I, um, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see what they're doing. And like, because you don't want to lose any momentum of what you've built in the last five years. Um, but I understand. 
of course, wrestling is a lot about nostalgia because clearly we see it with Sting and, you know, the Hardys and um, Adam Copeland and stuff like that. But then you see it over and then in NXT, they relied a lot on some of their old, their older guys to to bring in like they brought back The Undertaker just two weeks ago. So they have always there's the Raw 25. There's the, like the DX, tw- the 25th anniversary of DX. So they also rely heavily on nostalgia because that's what wrestling is, is a yeah. lot of. And so it's hard sometimes wrestling can't get away from the nostalgia and they can't get away from some of the older tropes and things like that um but then like it's nice when it's a balance when it's not so heavy on that stuff so i'm really interested to see how scott demore handles that and if it's just gonna be like i don't think the wrestling I mean, it's certainly is certainly making like, noise and if that's yeah, the plan then yeah a lot of people are talking about it and i think i saw somebody say that the announcement of them being rebranded as tna had as of this morning had like two million views on it which I'm impact sure. people are that, talking about impact i mean i know we occasionally I mean, it could talk be about that simple it. they just want to shake things up and get people like, talking yeah. and get people paying attention to the next thing that's happening because right maybe they, especially because I mean, yeah, that's certainly, a, I mean, you know, as soon as it got announced, because you saw Twitter blow up about it. Yeah. And so, like, so, and Matthew whether you liked it who, or didn't like it or whatever you wanted to weigh yeah. in on, like, but it got wrestling sent, Twitter reacted. So. Yeah. Cause I'll say it got sent to us in our group text from somebody who was not watching the show. They right. saw it timeline and that's well, how i saw it and, separately entirely i mean yeah, it was so that's that how I, I saw it and so that's what i've seen people talking about today and tna is back as trending chris saban tweeted tna is back last night and so like so there is a maybe it is just like you said just a rebrand to get people's attention and to show them that they're not the jeff jarrett and dixie carter yeah stuff. right dixie <laughs> carter is long gone we now. have good wrestlers we draw talent yeah. for, we draw international talent to our show yeah we're working we also work with uh new japan right <laughs> and we you know we do that type of stuff we were doing they were for a couple of years there they were doing stuff down in mexico uh yep. there was some crossover they bring in independent talent all the time there's always a lot of really good stuff over there. Uh, Brad says for a very big women pro women's company, do people still associate TNA with those body parts that Vince Russo named the company after? I would say no. I think but, that's a. I mean, I think some people when they hear TNA, if they're not wrestling fans, will think that. But if you're a wrestling fan, I don't necessarily think that. Yeah, and I think if they. A lot because a non-wrestling time. fan hears anything about wrestling, they're going to think that it's weird. Because every, right. I mean, when you like try to talk to someone about wrestling, it's like trying to talk to them about Twin Peaks. It's like I can't explain this to you. It's there's, you just have to watch. <laughs> you either you like it and you understand, or you don't. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, Colin says, if going back to the TNA means we get Rosemary back, then great. Yeah, I I really enjoy the Courtney Rush stuff that they're doing, but I do it is very interesting because rosemary was such a big part of the knockouts division that seeing her in a role where she's not that character uh has been really interesting but i uh, yeah i have a feeling she'll probably go back to being rosemary at some point um but yeah so it'll be really interesting to see like what it means to be tna like what was the point of this why are you going back to something that some like one demographic of fans associate with crappy wrestling, shitty storylines. <laughs> and then I for mean, the other generation who sees TNA as a place where knockouts flourish, as a place where the X division is some right. of the best, where you have your AJ Styles. Sting was there for a while. Like you have, I mean, there's the Aces and Eight storyline, but, <laughs> but so like it's a, it's a, it'll be interesting to see what fans associate it with, especially for those who don't know what Impact has been doing the last few years. And they've got, you know, you have champions like, or, you know, there was Josh Alexander was the champion for a while. You've got Jordan Grace, you've got Deanna Parrazzo, you've got these really big names there and they're doing really great work and they're doing stuff to make Impact be something that you want to watch on a weekly basis. 